Now I'm going to try to make the other board here and it's the handle <clears throat> and we're gonna constrain it with the board surfacing so let's get to it directly I'm gonna create another box and let's apply everything I'm gonna take this box here and scale it a little okay like that let's add it here let's just rotate it a little and take this base just gonna extrude it we're gonna just make maybe three or four I think three is good okay now I'm gonna just activate the transparency and I'm gonna scale this edges just select the whole face rotate this like that okay once you just finished you can Lock on this face here and I'm gonna just crease it a little to be similar to the board and then we can scale it a little bit. okay now we just semi close to the board here starts the fun track now I just deleted this face here up there because I just gonna constrain it you can use constraints to merge it with this body so as you see here there are a big radius start from here to maybe here so I'm gonna just import reference now I'll have this whole faces for reference I'm gonna select this one and this one and this two okay side constrain it the face okay as you see now it's great okay now let's see subdivision smooth view and you can manipulate it it's just holding on the surface now it's just um, merging into it and taking the same radius the same big radius here you can move it easily like that let's use the arrow I can take this only and move it here. Now, if you just look close here, you're gonna see this is a nut, uh, the same curve, okay? So what we can do here is just manipulate some vertices and points. And about here, you can easily insert a loop and now you have the ability to change it as you see same uh, 
uh, look of the picture. Just modify this a little here. Okay, so we done for here. Um, you're just gonna click 